Uh, my name is Mohammed Mansi. I'm an English instructor at Al Azhar University. I've also taught uh, practice translation for many years. Um, translation is mainly about uh, communication between different people who speak different languages. Um, and this has been there for uh, the dawn of history because people uh, needed to communicate to have economic, political, and social relationships. Uh, George Steiner says, without translation, we would be living in provinces bordering on silence. Uh, earlier in my career, I worked as a subtitling translator at Ekra Satellite Channel, which is the first privately owned uh, Islamic channel in the Middle East. Uh, and I worked there for like nine years, and I came to witness the challenges of translation, you know, of subtitling uh, mainly. These are linguistic, uh, cultural, and also uh, um, technical challenges. Uh, so I wanted to do my PhD in, in this field. Um, and of course, you know, translation is not always possible because, or easy because of the uh, linguistic gaps and cultural gaps as well between the target language and the source language. You know, uh, so much of that, uh, Van Hom says, all translating seems to me to be simply an attempt to accomplish an impossible task. Uh, according to uh, Kimon Fryer, even the simplest word can never be rendered with its exact equivalent into another language. Uh, think, for example, for some religious terms, like you know, in Arabic, kafir, for example, can be translated as the word kafir, for example, in, in which is like uh, common in a religious discourse, can be, uh, you know, uh, translated as infidel, yes. infidel, yes. or disbeliever, or just non Muslim, you know. Yes. Okay. Okay. Infidel or disbeliever, or, yeah, or non Muslim, you know. And obviously, yeah, yeah, of course, sometimes, some context, okay. you know. And obviously, these have different connotations and different implications as well for the hearer or listener or, um, you know, the, the reader. Uh, so some of these words are culturally sensitive, some are not culturally sensitive, and this can cause, you know, some miscommunication between, I mean, the sender and the, re and the receiver. Um, sometimes, you know, uh, Paul Valery says, fidelity to meaning alone in translation is a kind of betrayal because the translator, you know, can ignore the cultural aspect of translation of, of words. Uh, according to Burgess, translation is not a matter of words only, it's a matter of making intelligible a whole culture. So I wanted to uh, do my PhD in um, these challenges and uh, you know, look at them from uh, an academic point of view. Um, so culture is so central in translation, but Culture is like an iceberg that we, you know, unless you live in the target culture, you just see the tip of that iceberg, which is like um, uh, language, the food, and society, and the thing. But this is not enough for a translator to render, okay, to render, uh, I mean, uh, a good translation of the uh, source text. So Fulbright gave me this opportunity to live in the US for one year and delve deep into the American culture. Uh, so a little more about you know uh, American culture and uh, like th things about family roles, uh, gender roles, and these things, and they helped me uh, understand um, you know the third culture more and more. So my methodology, I'm applying the functional ro uh, approach in translation, which analyzes language and uh, culture. I've also done some surveys and questionnaires and interviews with American friends and people from around the world. I've also attended classes and, uh, in translation linguistics at the University of Michigan. Um, okay, lesson learned. I became more objective in my analysis. You know, uh, I now can put myself on the other shoes because I lived with them and, and I saw my, their perspectives to life and to the things that I may take for granted. I also came like broad-minded and more tolerant to difference, and I discovered the overlap between my culture and American culture, so that now I can uh, like choose more relevant uh, choices in my translation practice. Future, 
future plans. I'm now pursuing a PhD uh, degree. Uh, I'm also, yeah, these are practical application and impact. Uh, I hope my dissertation will strengthen research on subtitling in Egypt, which is still a new area. Um, I'm also sharing insights with my fellow translators and students. Um, I'm also maintaining and expanding my Fulbright network, which includes friends from the US and all over the world. Okay. Uh, finally, uh, I'm just up. quoting this yes, quote from up. Italo Calvino without translation, I would be limited to the borders of my own country. The translator is my most important ally, introducing me to the world. Be sure to take my contacts after <laughs> this presentation. Thank you very much.